come for my money There was nobody, no one to run me Give me a run for my money Sipping bubbly, feeling lovely Baby, love me Just love me When we left Montreal, we didn't really have a plan on where to stay, so we just turned off the highway and set up a tent. Had a little campfire, and then we, we got up and hit the road again. Had a little food, and then we are in Moncton. We had the day in Moncton before the show in the evening, so we went to the pump house, fill station, played some, played some bar games, and I think I lost every game we played. <laughs> but uh, it, it was great. Moncton, Moncton treated us very well. Penga. <laughs> How's it going, man? I've been talking to uh, Corey from the attic for, for years trying to get a show together and finally it worked out and I'm so thankful that he put on such a great evening. He's got a great little music community in Moncton. And the funniest coincidence, Apollo Sons were playing maybe maybe 200 feet from where I was playing. It's so great. We got to, got to have a beer with the guys and uh, bet bet a beer on the table hockey game and Kevin beat me at that too so I'm still a little chapped about that we went to Charlottetown and another crazy coincidence Isaac and Evelyn were visiting family there so we got to see Isaac and Evelyn again and meet his wonderful cousin and Mike and Paul put us up in Green Bay and they have a beautiful acreage absolutely stunning you know they had chickens and cattle and the show that they put on was uh it was a great success. Their friends are just beautiful people, and we had so many sweets. It was unreal. And in true Mike and Paula fashion, you know, they can't let you go hungry, so we got a, a couple dozen cookies for that drive to Toronto, which was just the longest drive of my life. Peter put on a show at the Grapefruit Moon, and Cheyenne was playing, and she's an incredible singer, and we we drank the place dry, and we sang songs until the morning light, and got to visit some old friends. The next night, Marco and Lauren put on another show for us in Toronto, and it was this beautiful, beautiful backyard patio with, like, the CN Tower in the background. It was such a beautiful way to spend an evening, and such a good cap on this fantastic tour. Thanks so much. I'm proud of you, I had a wonderful time with you all. The days are long when you're touring, and it, it, it feels like it feels like a marathon. We got to see so much in a whirlwind of three weeks, you know. So it's 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 crazy that long drive home. It gives you a lot of time to reflect on. And, you know, all these experiences that we got to have and people we got to meet. And, and then, like a blink of an eye, it was all over.